All right, in this video, we're going to work out an individual integral. <clears throat> it's going to be the integral of the sine of 2x to the third power dx. Okay, now there's a couple uh, different things that we're going to have to deal with here. We definitely have to get rid of that 2x in there so that we can integrate. And then we also don't need this sine to the third power. We've got to get it down to where we can make a substitution. I am going to be using um, a substitution for sine squared plus cosine squared equals one, pretty common Pythagorean identity, solving that for sine squared x so that we've got a one minus cosine squared x. So I will manipulate at some point in time that sine of to the third power. But first, one step at a time, we're going to have to do a double substitution on this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of that 2x first. So I'm going to let my u equal 2x. All right, we'll take a derivative of both sides here. So we'll have a du is equal to a 2dx. And then I am going to go ahead and solve all the way down for that dx. We'll divide both sides by 2. So du over 2. Okay, then we're going to come back up to that original integral. And we're going to do our substitutions now. So we'll have the integral of a sine to the third power. We want to substitute the 2x with a u. We want to substitute dx for what it equals du over 2. All right, now I'm all in terms of u. And so I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. We've got a 1 half right here that we can pull out. So we'll pull that out. So we'll have a 1 half in the integral of sine u to the third power du. OK, now here comes the part where, OK, I really need a sine squared so I can do a substitution. So I can multiply things in any order. So all I'm going to do is just break that sign up. So I'm going to choose to rewrite as a one half integral. I'm going to make it a sine squared of u times a sine u du. All right, I still have an equivalent statement. These two things multiplied together equals this. So I can legally do that. We can multiply things in any order. All right, now I'm going to do a substitution. So I will have a one half the integral, substituting that for what it equals, 1 minus cosine squared of u, and then times that extra sign that we've got out there, du. All right, now we've got to be able to get this down to a, something that we can integrate. So I'm going to have to do another substitution here. All right, if I let another variable, let's say t, equal cosine, the derivative of cosine sine, so that's going to cross that out. So we'll go to another substitution or double substitution. We're going to let, and I'm just going to randomly choose t because I need another variable, so t equal cosine u. Again, taking the derivative of both sides, I'll have a dt now is equal to a negative sine u du. I want to solve all the way down for my du, which will give me a dt over a negative sine u is equal to du. We're going to come back up then to this integral and do some substitutions. All right, so I'll still have my one half and integral. I'm going to replace my cosine here with a t. So I'll have a one minus a t squared. And then I'll still have the sine of u. I'm going to replace du with a dt over a negative sine u. What that's going to allow me to do now is then cross out the sine u and sine u. I am now down to an integral all in terms of t, nice little polynomial one, and it's going to be simple to integrate. This negative here needs to get pulled out. So I'm going to have a negative 1 half, the integral of a 1 minus t squared dt. Nice little polynomial curve there. We can integrate this very easy. So doing the integration, I'll have a negative 1 half. Let's go ahead and put a square bracket in there. Integrating 1 with respect to that t right there, we'll have a t. All right, and then minus adding 1 to my exponent, I'll have a t to the third with a 1 third in front, all right, plus c. At some point in time, either you do it now or you do it later, but that negative one half needs to be distributed back in. So if I distribute that back in, I would have a negative one half t. Negative times negative would make it a positive one sixth t to the third 
and then my plus C. Final step then there would be to now replace my T. And then I'll have a negative one half, replace T cosine U plus one third, and then cosine to the third U plus C. Now that's in terms of U. So we have to go all the way back up to what U is, do one more substitution. So I'll have a negative one half cosine of a two X plus the one sixth cosine to the third of a two X and then plus C. So when you do an integral with two substitutions, plugging back in at the end, you're gonna have those two substitutions being plugged back in. So pretty much a straightforward double substitution and utilizing that Pythagorean identity. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.